Hi, my name is Magnus. I'm the product manager for SOAPUI. Uh, I'll be taking you through this video tutorial, giving you an overview of functional testing in SOAPUI. I'm going to be using SOAPUI Pro uh, for the demo, but I'll be sure to point out any Pro-specific features. Okay, let's get started. As you can see, I've started SOAPUI, and I'm going to kick off this demo by creating a new SOAPUI project. Go ahead and call it demo. Paste in the URL to the Wistel file. This URL is available on the functional testing page underneath uh, the getting started section on SOAPUI.org. Leave the defaults and click OK. And as a result, I get the service here presented on the left hand side along with its three operations. The service allows me to type in a country code and get the corresponding info about that country. Underneath each operation, SOAPUI has generated this sample request. If I open the third sample request here, I get the form view presented, which is only available in the pro version. And it basically lists all the different fields available that I can post against my web service. So you can simply fill in the data and send off the request. This becomes particularly handy when you've got a large uh, set of fields or a complex WSTL file. In the open source version, I have the XML view and the raw view. The XML view allows me to modify the XML that I want to post to my web service. Go back to my form view here and enter the country code for the United States. Hit play. As a result, I get the response here listing all the different states in the US. The response is presented in the outline view, which is also only available in Pro, and it allows me to, in an easy fashion, uh, expand and collapse the different nodes in the response. In a similar fashion, I got the XML view and the raw view available for the open source users. So what if I want to add this request to a test step? Go ahead and right click the sample request and choose add to test case. The test case requires a test suite. So SOAPI prompts me for uh, creating a test suite. I'm going to go ahead with the default name, click OK. Same for the test case. And same for the test step. And as you can see here, I now have a test suite underneath the test case and then my test step. Opening the test step, I have the same view as I showed you before for the sample request. Can fire off the request and I get the response showing the states here. So what if I want to assert that the response is in fact a list of states? I go ahead and click the assertion tab here, choose to add an assertion. In this case I'm going to use the XPath match assertion, which allows me to target different nodes in the response. Click OK. And here you have this dialog where you can enter the XPath expression targeting the node that you want to assert. Or in the Pro version, you can click on this button that allows you to simply select the node that you want to assert. So in this case, I'm going to pick the old region list here. Down here, you can see the corresponding XPath match or XPath expression. Click OK. Sopia also inserts the expected results, which is the XML underneath the old region list node containing all the different states. So this assertion will basically regress that the result is uh, always consistent, always consists of uh, the list of states. So click Save. I get this uh, new assertion added, the my XPath match, with this little green icon indicating that the assertion passed. So if I enter another country code here, SE for Sweden, and hit play, I'm going to see that my assertion failed. Because what I have in the response now is the Swedish uh, regions as opposed to the states in the US. Go back to Entering US here, click play, and my assertion is back to green. I can also choose to add an assertion by right-clicking on a node in the outline view. So if I 
click the body element here, I can assert it for existence, which means that I assert that the response in fact contains the body node. So OPI inserts this exist statements and the expected result true. Clicking on save adds this assertion as the third one in the list. I can choose to execute my tests on a test case level, on a test suite level, and on a project level. I'm going to choose to execute it on the test suite level. Open the test suite and then click on play here. I get this green indication here showing that the entire test suite with all its test cases, in this case is only one, passed. And I can also check out the test suite log, which also lists all the test cases and the individual test steps, indicating whether a certain test step failed or passed. I can also choose to generate a report based on the run I just did. Click on this icon here. I get the dialog here allows me to choose different formats for my report. I'm going to go ahead with the default, click OK. And as a result, I get this PDF report generated. First page showing some test suite metrics, the list of test cases, and then finally the result metrics. Listing all the test cases and showing which failed and which passed. Okay, that's pretty much what I wanted to show you guys. You can download Pro if you want to try this out yourself. Uh, there's a trial version available on SOPI.org. Okay, thanks for listening.